There is a spy balloon currently hovering over the United States. It is not confirmed whether the balloon poses a threat, but authorities say not to take action. We got one. Yeah, 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 you gotta make sure all those things are good. What up? What's going on? Uh, so we're gonna shoot some uh, longer distances today. Yeah. Spencer's gonna put himself at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, I brought, uh, so if you guys seen, seen our previous videos, I brought the M1903A3 out, so it's bolt action, open iron sight, so yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna shoot 50 yards. With a pistol. With a pistol. Yep. 100 yards. With like a 223, 556, five, yeah, yeah. 15. Yeah. And then 200 yards with, I chose a 308 bolt action. I chose a 30 6 bolt action, but it's iron sights. So. Yeah, so we'll see. Let's do it. All right, so name of the game. Uh, shoot five rounds at 50 yards. If I, could, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like there, 50 yards away with a uh, pistol. So, James, what do you got there? I'm rocking a PSA dagger. Haven't really shot it a lot, so uh, yeah. we'll see. Oh, yeah, I got a 20 or uh, yeah, 27 round mag compensator. Got an O light on there. Ooh. Five shot. Right. S seven. Obviously. <laughs> All right, Spencer's up. What are you rocking here, buddy? So, you guys probably seen this. Smith & Wesson Performance Center 1911. Uh, pretty good gun, very accurate. My, probably my favorite pistol of all of them I have. So. All right, seven shots. Let's go see what we got. I do see some holes in it. Okay, so uh, Spencer hit up here, three high in the shoulder, up and right. I hit three low into the left. <laughs> Six shots in it total at 50 yards. It's uh, not bad. Nah, but but if you look at it, average seven out of, or three out of seven. It's not very good. No. <laughs> but how's this how's this situation? Yeah, <laughs> I, I shot the house a couple of times. <laughs> Alright, uh, moving up to 100 yards with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. AR's. 100 yards with an AR, tighter group wins. Yeah. Woo woo! Alright Spencer, what do we got here? Alright, so this is a Savage MSR 15. That's my AR 15. So nice. Picked it up a couple years ago. Just then, just recently found out it's severely under gas. Shoot the brass that way, not that way. So, <laughs> so what's the problem then? Uh, it's getting enough gas into the things to uh, eject the bolt back fast enough. It ain't so got no gas. It comes out it. really slow and it goes that way. It should be kicking them up that way. So, yeah. We'll figure that out. Yeah, I just gotta put an adjustable gas block on it and yeah. it's fine. I already had to do it to one of mine. All right, so how far are we shooting? 100? 100 yards. All right. So, what are we doing? How many shots? Um. Want to do 10 each? 10, yeah. Okay. Tightest group-ish? Try. None of our guns are really, uh, really set in that well. Hey, tightest group. Tightest group, all right. Gas? Oh. Oh. Two. I don't think Five. Five. Seven. Wow. Do Gun 
Do you need a steel mag? I think it's a gun, actually. Yeah. We're at eight, you got two to go. Nine. Wow. Oh, so close. I have to think it's the gun. Yeah, it's just not cycling back far enough. Ten. Is that ten? That's ten. Don't know if I'm hitting That's okay. All right, James, what do you got there? Uh, yeah, so this is actually a Wyndham weaponry. Uh, I don't know, it's like a their, their AR-15. This is my first AR. Uh, pretty much eats any rounds or ammo you put through it. Never really had an issue, so. Unlike mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I shouldn't say that, but, uh, I, I you know, I, I've never had an issue, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, I got the target on the right. Yep. Did it tip over? Yep. Are you hitting it? One more. Oh, it tipped over. Yeah, I shot yours over too. Yeah, cool. So, okay, you put some more lethal shots on than I did. So I may have hit more. Yeah. You hit the the more lethal. I think I say a tie. Because you shot more accurately. Two ties. All yeah, right. two ties. We're two, uh, so we got to break it. We're going to the long gun now. Yep. Okay. All right. So what we got here is a Springfield Saint uh, Victor. Chamber in 308 AR-10. Hey, one of my next favorite guns. This one should cycle, actually cycles other than my AR-15. So uh, shooting 150 grain. Soft point. That's what I did in for. Deer hunting around. Okay, we're shooting 200 yards, uh, going for most headshots out of five shots, right? Yep. All right. Is it the one right in front of you? Yeah. Knock it over. <laughs> You're, you're not hitting it, but you're, well, you're uh, anywhere that you need to aim. <laughs> yeah, your uh, your muzzle blast there was moving it pretty good. Go check the target after this one. I'm gonna pick up the brass because that's expensive. All right. All right, what do you got there, James? Yeah, so I'm rocking a uh, Mossberg MVP Scout 308. Uh, got an Accu trigger, so that part's really nice. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of time on this gun, so we'll see what happens. Headshots only, club. Oh, that's actually something right there. I think I watched a tree, like a small tree fall over. Hmm. I, I see myself doing that on the third one. I'm like, shit. <laughs> so, all right, that's both guns. Uh, let's go check it out. Clean action. Is it smooth like butter? All right. So left side is mine. Right side is James. So these the shots lower. They were ready there. Um, yeah, I didn't hit it at all. <laughs> I hit it once. It's right square, smack in the jaw. Yeah, yeah. 
It's crazy. I was. I, I'm. I'm not making excuses. But if you look at the, all the shrubbery we shot through, <laughs> we shoot through a lot of shrubs. But yeah. At the same time, I've never shot this over a hundred. So. Yeah. And this uh, this is a uh, mine isn't. It's setting at hundred, but I, I didn't have time to, so I wasn't the one setting it in. So I don't know this gun as well as I should. So. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's time to take a step back and stop buying guns and maybe dial in the ones I have I'm learning. It's the same for me. Well, I, there's one gun I want, want, want right now, so I might buy that, then start doing what he's... I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just saying that's probably what I should do. You know, maybe learn how to shoot the freaking guns I have. <laughs> I kind of want to shoot the N1903A3. Let's shoot it. Yeah. That one's dead on. Yeah, that one's like dead nuts. All right, all right. All right. So okay. this thing is a M1903 A3. It's not actually made in 1903. It's the model of it. And so it was developed in 1903. But this one was, uh, I think it's a 1943 model. Made by US Remington Company right there. So very cool, very accurate gun. Not with me behind it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just uh, put as many shots in the head as we can. With it. Yeah, we both get three. We'll never know who did it, but we'll take credit as a team. <laughs> Firing. Good God. <laughs> Rock on, baby. Merka. Got one that time. That's such an awesome round. Yeah. Like, so Something this is I a don't like is uh just where it puts your thumb in your aiming, it bumps it into your nose. Not hard, <laughs> but it just lets you know it's there. Just for me, the way I hold and shoulder, it just whoop, like very softly. <laughs> yeah, it's it's such an awesome gun. It, it's smooth. It kicks, but it's smooth kick. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's like quick and fast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is, man. They just, it feels like sometimes they made guns better back in the day. Yeah. So my next gun I want to get for like World War One, or World War guns, like back in the 1940 era, is a uh, M1 Grand. Yeah. Dude, those things, I just, I've always wanted one. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a gradual pushback, like less than a 12 gauge. Yeah, but... I mean, 12 gauge, man, those things kick a meal. Yeah. If you have like a slug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. He so, well, it's a good thing we don't know who shot what. Oh yeah, no, we did put four in the, because that one's the one with the hole already in it. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, that's just crazy. Iron sights like that, it just shoots like butter. It's so didn't accurate. Even, yeah, we didn't even take our time, no. free handing. Yeah. And, that looks like a 30 cal. So mm -hmm. we, I think, because I did pull one short, so I think that was me. Okay. So, shoot one low. So, I mean, what, five out of six rounds hit? Pretty good. Yeah. I'll take it. So, yeah, same here. That's fun. You gotta like shoot that at like 500 yards. Oh, dude, side. heck yeah. Once it, once it warms up and we get to go to the range. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. All right. Oh. oh. Yeah, I don't think we can have a winner today. No. I think I think we just pretty much like even. I think we just showed how unprepared we really yeah. are. <laughs> we have all the firearms and ammo in the world. <laughs> and we're both pretty smart about how to use them, but the tools just not tuned in. Yeah, so we just didn't spend it. So we have like a vast majority of like firearms, but we don't have the we just didn't focus enough time on one single gun because we just nope we didn't we didn't we just focused on multiple again all of them but we need to focus on one gun at a time yeah you think like how many guns i i know for me i have a lot of a few firearms yeah I, I got it all with optics and most with flashlights and they're like ready to go they just need that time to be sighted in and yeah make sure they're honed make sure they're good <laughs> yeah. make sure they're set up right i mean yeah they, they all cycle they all run yeah. it's just <laughs> that, like that gun, I think I, I literally just shot a few times and just 
I took the <laughs> things that crank and it caught it good. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, so. yeah, I think uh, I think we learned a lesson today, and we're gonna we're gonna deliver some better quality. Yeah. So. I mean, obviously, we're still gonna do our short course pistol oh, yeah. challenges and stuff. Like this and is great for maybe that. long range as soon as we get the gun set up and stuff like that. So we'll be doing long range challenges. So yeah. God, one other thing I forgot. Um, speaking of stop buying guns and tuning them in, um, in the comments below, next week I will be purchasing either. And this is seriously up to the comments, dead serious. A Scorpion, Evo, an Evo Scorpion Ooh. in nine mil, or a Chris Vector. But I will be buying we'll that in we'll 10 mil. We'll oh, 10 mil, okay. I was yep. gonna say, it's either gonna be 45 or 10 mil. I'd yeah. do 10 mil, cause yep. that's like a, that's a good round. Yeah, yeah, and I don't have anything in 10 mil, and I already have 45, so I don't. So, seriously, in the comments, what what do you want? Chris Vector or uh, Scorpion. Scorpion? So, so I'll. So uh, I'll put some pictures on, like uh, we'll put my hands which one, so yeah. Yeah, Chris Spector or uh, Scorpion, so we got some time. All right, uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and ASB. Over and out, baby. Peace.